What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today I wanna show you how you can get iOS 12 for free. It's a super cool update, lots of great new features. I'll link a ton of my videos up at the top right hand corner of the screen to see all the new stuff in iOS 12 in case you missed it already. But I'm making this video to show you how you can get iOS 12 for free completely legally and safely officially through Apple through their public beta program. It's an insanely easy process. You literally sign in with your Apple ID uh, and basically start downloading iOS 12 in public beta form immediately. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is head over to beta.apple.com and you'll come up with a page that looks just like this. Once you're here, go ahead and either scroll over and hit sign in in the top right or sign up down below just a little bit, the big blue button right there. If you hit sign up or sign in, you should be redirected to pretty much an identical page. And once you're here, you just have to sign in with your Apple ID. This is what you use to log in when you buy a new iPhone to make purchases on the App Store. Just link it to that same one that you already have. Once you have signed in, you're to see a page that looks like this just make sure you are on the iOS tab for me it was auto selected scroll down a little bit and then right here under get started there's kind of a hidden link that says enroll your iOS device this is how you actually get the profile uh, to install the iOS 12 public beta so tap on that now you see enroll your devices the first thing Apple recommends here is to archive an iOS backup through iTunes that requires actually plugging your device into your computer making a full backup of your phone just so if you change your mind you want to go back to iOS 11 or something goes wrong Wrong, and you would potentially lose your data on iOS 12, you have a backup for iOS 11, so you can easily jump back and make sure you haven't lost anything because losing photos or anything that's important to you while upgrading to iOS 12 would be really sad uh, and definitely a little bit frustrating. So you don't have to do this. This is not mandatory, but I and Apple also strongly recommend that you do that just to be safe. Now, once you've done that, or even if you haven't, you just tap on this blue button right here, download it profile. It's gonna shoot you over to the settings app. You have to hit allow. You have to type in your passcode like three or four more times before you can actually install the iOS 12 public beta. If it asks you which device to install it on, just make sure you tap on iPhone, of course, because that's where they're installing this. If you already have a developer beta profile for something like iOS, iOS 11.3 or iOS 11.4.1, you'll have to remove that old profile before installing the one for the iOS 12 public beta. Most of you probably won't run into this issue, but if you do, just make sure there aren't any software profiles installed on your device. Once you actually have it here, your device is gonna have to restart. Go ahead and just tap on the restart or reboot option right there. It should be relatively quick. Once it's done, you gotta enter your passcode to get into your device. Go back to settings general and software update and you should see the iOS 12 public beta right here. And from here on out, it's literally just like updating your iOS device like you always have. Enter your passcode, agree to the terms and conditions. You can agree to that and then it just starts downloading. It's a pretty big update, I think between two and four or two and three gigabytes. So depending on the speed of your internet connection, it'll download really quickly or download a little bit more slowly. But once it's done downloading, you hit install, your device will go through the normal iOS update process. You'll see the app Apple logo, a progress bar a couple of, of times, the Apple logo against the black screen, and then your device is restarted and you have iOS 12, you can start using it immediately. It's a really easy process. I'm so happy that Apple makes it so accessible for pretty much anybody for free to get on iOS 12 months ahead of when it's going to be released. We don't have an official release date for when iOS 12 will be available for everybody just yet, but Apple did say fall 2018 usually, and for the past four or five years, or maybe forever, that's meant September. So in September of 2018, sometime during the first to the end of the month, we'll be seeing in iOS 12, but if you want it early, this is safe, this is secure, this is through Apple, uh, and it may actually make your device faster and better than it is on iOS 11. But that's all for this video. Let me know down below if you're on iOS 12 what your favorite features are, or why, for example, you'll be staying on iOS 11. If you don't want to make the jump to iOS 12 just yet, of course, that choice is yours. There's nothing wrong with staying on iOS 11 at all. But if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something new, it does help me out if you drop a like. And of course, hit subscribe if you want to see more videos on iOS 11 and 12 in the future. If you want to help support the channel, get a super rad shirt like the one I'm wearing right now, you can do so at shop.iupdateos.com. But for now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.